Good morning. Welcome to the John Mandola Show here in WILK. We are driven by McCarthy Tire Service. We appreciate you joining us each and every Saturday between 10 and 11. Of course, you join us online during the week, thejohnmandolashow.com. We give you a story each and every day, a fresh one. And uh, today's story is up. It is the Lackawanna College Falcons football getting ready for the New Jersey Warriors that are in town. Uh, of course, uh, got our picks yesterday, and uh, my son uh, had some picks. I had some picks, but... Uh, couple i didn't get right and one of them is the myers nanny coat game and joining us this morning is uh their coach jeff labotch from the mohawks and uh jeff uh, welcome in this morning how you doing john thank you for having me yeah we appreciate it well uh a lot of uh, head turns uh, yesterday uh when people were looking at that uh, myers nanny coke score so talk a little bit about all the things that went well for your mohawks what a big victory it was yeah i thought our, our defense stepped up when they had to um I think we held them to uh, under 100 yards in the first half, which is which is big. They're you know I think number one offense in the conference. So to do that in the first half was was, was a great effort by our guys. Uh, we made some big plays. Jansen Wilburn had a great game, uh, both running and throwing the ball. You know, our line stepped up. I thought our, uh, you know all in all our team played well. Let's talk about the tackling those guys. Uh, they got a couple of running backs. That, you know, chatter saying, "Hey, could we get two guys going for a thousand yards?" And not necessarily Nanny Coke saying that, but you know, maybe some of the outsiders thinking they have that possibility with that style of offense, respectively. But to talk about some of the guys up front, or whether you had a couple of linebackers just flying around and, and meeting them in the hole. Yeah, our linebackers were John Woodson and uh, and uh, Eli Rivers did a, did a great job. Our outside guys stepped up on their on their, their tosses and their, their sweeps and stuff. So you know, and our defensive line, they didn't get they didn't get pushed back. They held their own, and uh, a lot of times they they fought off their blocks and, and they made tackles in the backfield. You know, we got the we got we got to them before they got going because if you let those two get get going upfield, uh, you know, it's really going to be a long day. Let's talk about the start of the season for you guys. Obviously, a little adversity. You got to play on the road, nonetheless. You got to play the game. As we hear the uh, the freshman game going on in the background with you guys, which is uh, good background noise, we love it, Coach. But talk a little bit about uh, you guys fighting through some of that stuff and, and trying to get on track again. Yeah, well, you know, being on, on the road for that first game that we were supposed to have home, you know, that that you know, we got we got past it. Obviously, we didn't we didn't we didn't win that game, but but we rebounded nice against Montrose and, and had a tough one against Hanover. Hanover, very, very well improved team, and then you know to play three and O team and the, to come out on top was. Huge. Moving forward, you know, we got we got Redeemer next week, who's an improving team every week. Their numbers are up. Um, they're going to be a tough tough competitor next Saturday. So we're just you know one week at a time, just try to stay focused on you know not looking ahead at anything. Let's talk about the leadership there at Myers on the football field, and obviously you, you got to get kids to kind of buy in. And I think you have the kids to buy in, but talk about guys you know helping you as coaches, just saying hey, we got to do this a little better. Pick yourself up, those type of things. Yeah, the, the the senior class has been great, and then we have a couple two year players in uh, in Michael Horvath and, and Reese Petronic that, um, you know, they're only juniors, but they're three year players, they're campus freshmen, and and they're taking a vocal a vocal role, um, you know, making sure we're together, not you know, not fighting with each other, not fighting in the huddle, um, you know, and that's crucial during during games, and then you know, practice keeping everybody focused, and so we have good, you know, get everything we need to get accomplished during the week. You start uh, focusing in on a couple of players that can make big plays, a guy like uh, Nice Hood, uh, a guy who. He'll give 100% in gym class. He'll come out all sweaty from that. So you know when he hits the football field, you're getting his full effort too. Absolutely. He's, he's, a, he's a great kid, well improved from, from last year. He's making making plays everywhere. And, you know, we moved him to the tight end, and, and actually he's embracing the, the blocking role. Um, you know, he's a tall, lanky kid. He's not, you know, um, I don't know how much he weighs, maybe, you know, 180, 190. But, but he fires off the ball like just like a regular lineman. You know, so we're not, you know, being undersized at tight end doesn't doesn't affect him at all. And, and having the speed that he does and being as tall as he had with great hands, you know, he's a weapon. Well, one-sided victory last night for the Myers Mohawks over the Nanticoke Trojans. Coach Jeff Labach, appreciate your time. I know you'll get those guys refocused for next week and be ready to go, go again. Okay, Coach? Thanks, John. Take right. care. You got it. Jeff Labach, the head guy there at Myers leading the charge. And uh, a big win for uh, the Mohawks over Nanticoke, and again, Nanticoke, uh, good to see them off to a, a pretty good start this year. An injury or two here or there uh, hurting them, but uh, they do have some quality guys there, and they'll bounce back at some point.